Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another insight. And today we're going to be talking about Faceware Studio 1.5. <laughs> I've been sitting on this and I've been excited to share with this with you. But uh, Faceware Studio 1.5 is out. And here are some of the new features. First of all, the pricing. Yeah, so if for indie, for the indie license, if you your company or studio makes uh, less than $100,000, a year then the introductory price is 179 dollars per year that is pretty awesome because for us indie filmmakers uh we need support you know to be able to break into this industry so i think this is a really good price so the introductory price is 179 and then the uh, after that introductory period the regular price is going to be 239 dollars a year a year a year right and then what's really cool is they've introduced live link for unreal so guys you as you may know previously uh glassbox was the go between faceware studio and the unreal engine well they've created their own live link like you know they were the same way you have the the iphone 10 with the live link and live face up live uh, yeah you love face up <laughs> live link face up this is this replaces the glassbox plugin and then second and third is enhanced camera support. So OBS, Streamlabs, Minicam, Epoch, all these things have been added and optimized performance, which is about 30% increase, all right? So these are the technical uh, specs of what has been improved, but I wanted to show you this thing, some of these things in action. And let's go back to Faceware. So here I have a MetaHuman. So today we're gonna be using a MetaHuman for the demonstration. And I want to show you how easy this is. So when you sign up, and I'll put the links in the description of this video of uh, where you can do like a trial version for uh, Faceware Studio 1.5, uh, there are some files that you're going to get. One, they, the, it's going to be the plugin uh, for the Faceware Live that's going to be installed in uh, uh, 4.27. So a quick disclaimer, guys, this new update for Faceware Live is only supported by Unreal Engine 4.27. So we don't have one for yet. We don't have one yet for 5.0. And this we don't have one yet for 4.26. This is Unreal Engine 4.27, just so you're aware of that, okay? And so in this folder, this is where the plugin is gonna be installed in your Unreal Engine 4.27 engine and plugins. It's gonna be this uh, folder right here. And then there's also gonna be a folder that comes with uh, the project uh, for you to use. It's gonna be the most, it's an updated motion logic uh, folder. So make sure if you've been using motion logic to, uh, to all control the face and body of a uh, Faceware Studio characters, especially the MetaHuman, uh, make sure you update your project so this is my metahuman project in the content folder over here i was able to paste this motion logic folder and in this motion motion logic folder is the con the blueprint for the body and a blueprint for the face this makes it very very easy to make uh, to get your uh the metahuman starting to talk using any video source into faceware studio from faceware studio uh, the live link as well as Faceware Studio 1.5. Okay, so once these are put in the correct places, uh, next you gotta go to Faceware Studio, start your Faceware Studio, and if it's a trial version, you you do definitely gonna be required to have a, an account. But once you logged in, then you wanna be able to uh, first of all under streaming, make sure that uh, this control schema is set to standard and all these are checked so when it's off it's going to be like that when it's on it's going to be on the right turns blue so make sure it's on standard that's the port number and make sure you enable the stream to client as well okay but before you enable that just do your <laughs> calibration so here i have this video which is about 25 frames per second uh, it's better when your video is uh, 60 frames per second because uh, it gives more information for Facebook studio to be able to control and then over here you see how a kind of pixelated the video is uh, you can still i mean if your computer can support it you can switch it back to you know something better than that and 
so that the quality is much better and so right now it's this is the original video the, the size that it's trying to do it's not when it's not optimized but we'll go back to 640 by 360 which works pretty well and then go ahead and find a place where there's a neutral face of a neutral pause and it's important to have the lips closed So as it, when you shoot your video, this one is a, uh, it's a footage that I got from Envato, which is just a, an actor. But find a place that uh, is neutral and then press the calibrate button so that it's captured, okay? And then when you play back, you'll be able to see the video being tracked nicely, the smile and all that. Now, once you've done your calibration here, and before I do that, let me point out some other things. So uh, under the source, if you go to live, for example, over here, there are a bunch of other cameras. So now there's support for OBS virtual camera. You know, so if you're able to port your uh, camera through OBS, you'll be able to put uh, to use that as a, a video source. And also the camera for NVIDIA broadcast is also supported, uh, which is really cool because with this, in uh, nvidia broadcast you're able to frame auto frame the, the character or the video in the subject uh, as you're using your camera uh, the webcam and then of course your regular webcam so those are the, the some of the updates and then so i want to go back to that video source uh where's my actor or this one open m and go ahead and uh let's pause I gotta find a neutral pause somewhere. Let's see, where can we find one? I think it was one over here. Let's try that one. Okay, so it has tracked the lips nicely. So if I play back, all right. All right. And some of the things that I do before I even start sending the data over is that I look at how well the character is smiling. So you can see this mouth smile over here under the tuning part of it is I've increased it a lot more so the character can smile more and I've also increased the jaw open so that the character can respond better right and so when I increase mouth smile left as well as mouth smile right over here so those are the cool things about face studio that you're able to fine-tune the video and the data before you send it over to the uh for to the unreal engine and you can actually do this in real time as well and see the results so now we can go to streaming and enable streaming over here and in the unreal engine we have to make sure that we go to uh, the settings plugins and then uh, under the installed panel, make sure the Faceware Live Link plugin is installed and enabled. You may have to restart your project, which is okay. And I've already done that, so you can see it here. So I, you, you notice I don't have the Live Link, the Glassbox Live Link enabled because uh, we no longer need that. It's been replaced by the Faceware Live Link. And that plugin is gonna be again in the engine folder and plugins right there and next now that we know all the other things are working i have to bring up live link so if you go to window and enable live link if it's not there and once live link is loaded just click on source and then we have faceware make sure these ports are the, this uh, ip address and the port numbers match what you see here uh, click ok and there is that beautiful green light, which means data is coming in. Well, 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 well. It's okay. So now we select our meta human over here. And we are not going to be using live face subject or live link face head. We're going to go into the character. So, by the way, I'm using the uh, uh, child of this model. So, under the meta humans over here. I have my character, let's see, which one was my, yes, let's go to back here. Under the metahumans, I have Maconde, who is a new character. So I just simply just right clicked on here and created a child blueprint class and it resulted into this one, which give it a name. And then I was able to drag it into the viewport here. Uh, if I were to kick out of this uh, camera, 
you can see my character standing right there. Okay, and let's go back to our camera, which is a meta camera over here. And it's I'm gonna scale this down a little bit so we can see. All right. Now you remember that folder who were talking I was talking about that has this motion logic and has the blueprint for the body and the face. Now that these are here, make sure but by the way, you put this before you start the engine. <laughs> That's just a, a quick heads up. All right. Now you simply have to go to the child that you created of the meta human. Uh, so click on the face, right? So instead of animation asset, I'm going to switch over to blueprint. Okay. And under the animation class, we're going to switch to the ABP meta human face wear live link face. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then for the body, because right now, if we just played back, if we play this right here, second, let me make sure this is uh, streaming. Okay, it's streaming. And live link over here, play. And under our metahuman, the face, it's using the face for blueprint. And go back to faceware and press play. There we go. So the head is not moving yet because as you notice, we were able to apply this blueprint to the face, but we haven't applied one to the body. So we go to the body over here. Uh, instead of animation asset, we switch to blueprint. And under the animation class, we select the ABP MetaHuman Faceware Live Link Body. And boom. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. So guys, that's what I was excited to share with you. This is a new Faceware update, Faceware Studio update. And this is Faceware Studio 1.5. Make sure you grab it. I'm going to put the, the links in the description of this video so you can try it out. And if you have the funds, of course, go ahead and uh, uh, sign up for the annual subscription, which is uh, 179 uh, That's an introductory price and also uh, 239 Now, down the road, there might be other promotions. So as you're watching this video, at the time of the recording of this video, those were the promotional prices. So should you be watching this video in the future and the prices have changed, then the, of course use uh, those will be the ones to go by. But thank you so much for joining me today. And guys, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to click subscribe and hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you are alerted when I post a new video. And this is a video I was talking about the the other live link, the other adapter. It's called uh, the Face Mockup Adapter Plugin that works similar to what you see now but this is more streamlined this is faceware studio live link that enables you to take your data district from faceware studio over here and let me see if i can actually move this over here and let's scale this over here put them side by side so you can see it and how awesome is that yes and so by the way uh, if you're noticing that uh the frame rates you know uh, when you're recording back here i do recommend that you before you record that you change the settings uh scalability settings to low okay and then go ahead and record because you're going to get better frame rates from uh, at this <laughs> level <laughs> so if we go let me see if i can actually show the frames per second over here so you see how i'm getting way more frames per second uh if i were to switch this to for example epic then the frame rates drop down so it's preferable that you switch the scalability settings to low before you record okay Record your animation and then you'll be able to get like smooth facial animation of the character uh, so that you can 
get awesome awesome data <laughs> like that uh the right now i was showing is the reason i was putting it to epic so that you could see how beautiful the, the meta human looks <laughs> And uh, a disclaimer, I, I, right now I'm running a 3090 card, but I don't know if that's making a big difference. But I, I definitely know that uh, the system that I have, I have a, a, a Puget system. It's a custom Unreal Engine uh, workstation, which I got from uh, Puget Systems. And it has a 3090 card. And it's, it's a thread ripper. <laughs> so this is also making a big difference in terms of uh, handling the, the data coming in in uh, those frame rates. So it's close to, you know, 30 frames per second. But as you can tell, this is real time. If you wanted to do like capture a recording, then that's why I would recommend that you do the, uh, the low scalability settings and then record that. But thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're talking about Faceware Studio, the new Faceware Live link and the uh, introductory price of $179 per year. $179 per year and the regular price is going to be $239 and all these cool features that have been added OBS you know many come and many more so again check out the links in the description of this video and see how it works on your side for me I definitely definitely recommend it uh, because I, I can see the value of having like Facebook live link coming directly into the Android engine with, without lying, relying on a third party uh, plugin. They've optimized it. It looks great. Uh, see you next time with another insight. Uh, stay safe, friends. And as always, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. May we continue to harness these technologies to to bring our stories to life. And thank you so much, Faceware team, for this awesome update. Uh, we we really treasure that support to the indie filmmaking community. Uh, please stay safe. Much love, and I, I'm praying for every single one of you out there i know it's not easy going through this pandemic uh guys thank you so much go ahead and try out faceware studio uh, 1.5 it's better definitely much better and uh, the footage is going to make a big difference as well so make sure when you're recording your footage it's at least 60 frames per second you'll be able to get better data out of that but as you can see this is just a quick test and I was able to calibrate some of the uh, the facial animations, like the smile, the jaw opening, and you can see how the eyes attract really, really nicely. So thank you so much. Bye for now. Peace out and stay blessed.